Well hello people, welcome to the next senpai. In this video, we'll be discussing the top 10 anime where the protagonist is an overpowered but hides their true abilities because his particular reason to the save of the world from danger. They often face challenges becoming legendary hero, and battles where they must use their powers to save the day, all while maintaining their facade of weakness character. So if you're a fan of anime with intense fights, thrilling plot twists, and get ready to discover some amazing anime series that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Keeping watching this video, and stay awesome. Let's go! To Be Hero A very interesting underrated anime that talks about overpowered heroes, and I enjoyed this show, even the extremely weird, out of their plot premise, from the audacious and perverse characters and sometimes immature humor. The story revolves around a handsome toilet designer who magically transformed into an ugly, unattractive fatty, overweight middle-aged man with real superpowers after sucking down a toilet in a public restroom. The Alliance Hero Committee then recruits Uncle to fight against aliens who have invaded and becomes the hero of Earth. Throughout the series, Uncle struggles to balance his superhero duties with his personal life, including his relationship with his daughter, who is also affected by his transformation. The show is known for its crude humor, satire, and unique animation style that blends classic anime with western-style cartooning. Dragon Raja While many outstanding Donghua titles have yet to be noticed, Dragon Raja is an essential viewing experience for any anime enthusiast. The show talks about the adventures of Lu Mingfei, a lucky man who enters Castle College, the highest alliance for humans, against strong and immortal dragons that threaten their very existence. After being recruited, he was ranked as an S-class student, the highest rank in the school. Due to his inability to use Yenling's skills, other students and professors doubted his ranking results were accurate, revealing his true ability integrated with Lu Mingzig working in the shadows by using his Dreamland skill. The main character instantly became the college's center of attention, which prompted other students to harass him. They must uncover the secrets of the dragon's origin and their past lives while also battling against various threats to the world. The main character gradually learn the truth of behind everything and become a physically capable dragon hunter. One of Dragon Raja's strengths is how it changes the perspective through which the world is experienced and very outstanding animation. Horizon in the middle of nowhere. Befitting his popular nickname called Impossible Man. Toriyawi does appears to be in goofing off and often immersed on making dirty jokes rather than acting as a decent leader, where his values can sometimes put others in dramatic situation. However, as the story progresses, it becomes clear that Tori is a skilled fighter and strategist, and he becomes more assertive in his actions and decisions. The story takes place in the distant future, after humans have migrated to space following the destruction of Earth. Tori and the students of Masashi Ariadust Academy are navigate political intrigue and declares war against the Testament Union in order to retrieve the eight powerful weapons. Tori's actions are often motivated by his desire to protect those he cares about and to find peaceful solutions to end conflicts. I'm quitting heroing. Have you ever wished to be a hero, to save the world, or to do everything properly to protect a country or kingdom? It's only in to result to be outcast and shunned, making all of your efforts meaningless and your hard work seem to go to waste. Leo Demonhearts, the notion of loneliness spanning thousands of years displays it so objectively that the opening titles are enough to give you that punch of emotion if you watch closely to the conclusion. With a new purpose, he tries to join the demon kingdom led by Echidna, which he defeats easily before being blessed with insurmountable power. Leo finds out that she was also fascinated by a different story of a demon who attempted to encourage peace between her people and humans, which drove her desire for peace. Leo uses various ways to rebuild the Demon King's armies that have been neglected, even though Echidna is generally the stubborn one who rejects him right away. So that's why Leo persuades the Demon Queen's four generals to let him work under their supervision was done in secret. Taking on the character of a masked Dark Knight called Onyx, he solves the problems one by one, and revived the Demon Army which is on the brink of collapse. War God System, I'm counting on you. An Lin, an ordinary young man in the city, encounters to be a powerful practitioner. He is specifically enrolled at the United University of Cultivation after arriving with a true God's letter of recommendation. 
Anlin struggled in Magic Academy because of his upbringing, as he had been nurtured on Earth with no prior understanding of cultivation. As a result, he became the target of classmates and students from other courses, who were humiliated as the strongest relationship household. Because of the oddities of the system, he was able to advance extremely quickly, much to the surprise of others at the school, moving through the ranks rapidly. Anlin realizes that he has the ability to absorb and integrate other people's cultivation techniques, allowing him to improve his skills quickly. As he navigates the dangerous world of cultivation, it is discovered to hide the God War system that was helping to replace him and fade out from the darkness, returning power to blast away in the experiments of the civilization. Hero Returns any other popular shounen adaptation to many anime viewers is Hero Return. Some people take this like a one-punch man Chinese anime version, but I think it is more credit than that. On the other hand, Lin Ji is the opposite, he got tired of the world where superheroes got corrupted by their ambition, by their desires for wealth and fame, and he realized that this is not what he wished for when he first ventured out as Zero, was humankind's first real superhero leading him to quit being a hero and live a low-key life, due to his younger sister forcing him to get a job, unconcerned with anything, but will still take action when he's already in the scene. Revolves around superheroes and their quest to fight villains. Lin Ji and his crew are often sent on a mission to do superhero jobs and clash with other superheroes and mercenaries. Their powers and personalities are very broad, make for great chemistry, and open up much room for good jokes, especially during the fighting scenes, this show really good delivers and keeps you glued to the screen. The Daily Life of the Immortal King The series follows the daily life of Wang Ling, a high school student who is secretly an immortal with immense powers. He tries to live a normal life and keep his powers a secret due capable of destroying the world at a moment's notice, but he is constantly drawn into conflicts with other immortals and supernatural beings. Along the way, he makes friends and allies who help him navigate the challenges of his double life. Several times he acts as a hero but other people get the spotlight and gratefully when he can act normal and coming off as someone with a very low spiritual force. To mitigate the volatile force within him, his parents have resorted to using an amulet as a temporary solution and in Wang Ling's emotions also accelerate its deterioration. The animation in the series is bright and colorful, with well-designed characters and backgrounds. The fight scenes are also well choreographed and visually impressive. Its blend of comedy makes it a great choice for viewers who enjoy light-hearted anime with a touch of drama. One Punch Man Saitama the main character who has the superhuman ability to defeat any opponent with just one punch. While he may seem weak and unassuming, his true strength lies in his incredible power. Furthermore, Saitama's unconventional methods of defeating his enemies are often not recognized or appreciated by the Hero Association, which assigns rankings to heroes based on various criteria. He is not an SS rank hero, and starts as a C rank hero in the series because of his lack of experience, reputation, and achievements as a hero. In addition, Saitama has not interest in seeking recognition or fame as a hero, and his tendency to avoid publicity and attention. He does not care about his ranking as long as he can protect and save people from danger to keep his life as a hero more interesting. Cautious Hero The story follows the adventures of a hero named Sayari again, who is summoned by the goddess Ristarte to save the world of Gaybrand from destruction. Seiya is known for his extreme caution and obsessive preparation, to the point where he can come off as overly paranoid and untrusting of others. He often pretends to be weak or inexperienced in order to gather more information and assess the situation before taking action. This behavior stems from his past traumatic experiences as a hero, where he has lost many of his previous companions due to his own mistakes and lack of caution, causing him to develop a fear of failure and a desire to avoid making any mistakes in the future. Despite his cautious nature, Seiya is still a skilled and powerful hero with many abilities and techniques at his disposal. His unexpected tactics and strategies often surprise his enemies and allies with Valkyria techniques and Berserk State, which were carved into his soul. Plunderer It's possible that the idea of hero as pretending to be weak could apply to Licht Bot, as he initially comes across as a bit of a slacker and flirtatious personality. Lichtbach is one of the seven legendary Red Barons, known as the Flash Baron. The only reason why Lich was hiding his true self was mainly because he was holding back a bad experience, 
and didn't want to harm anybody, even if it meant risking his life. However, as the story progresses, it becomes visible that he is a skilled fighter with an enigmatic past as a key player on the side of the ballot holders, a group that sought to control the world by monopolizing numerical values that determine a person's worth related to their life. Throughout the series, Lickbach and Hina become involved in a battle between opposing factions vying for control of the conflicts that shape the world of Plunderer as they discover the truth about their world.